Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a swipe unlock button in Android Studio. Now, before starting this video, first I want to show you what we are going to make. You can see an app is already installed in my phone. It has a swipe unlock button and a button which redirects me to my second activity. Now, let us suppose I press on button or move to second activity, but it does not redirect me to second activity because I does not unlock the screen. Now, as I unlock the screen, it show me a toss top button unlocked. Now, if I press on this button, now I can move to second activity. So you can see this is very good project and you can implement this type of project or this kind of swipe lock into any Android project. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video and see how to make it. So for this, simply open your Android Studio. Now click on start a new Android Studio project. Select empty activity from here. Now click on next. Give any name to your application. I give swipe. Now click on finish. Now it may take some time here. So be patient. Now the project get load successful. So for implement the swipe button in our Android activity, first we have to add and dependency. So for adding dependency, simply click on Gradle scripts. Now go into build.gradle module app. Now come down and here we have to add a dependency. Now for adding dependency simply type implementation. Take two commas. Now inside this we have to type com dot ebanx ebanx then colon then swipe then underscore then dash then button and now the dependency version. So if someone watches my video after so many time, then the dependency version may be get outdated. So you have to implement latest dependency here. Now dependency add up correctly. Now first we have to sync our project. So simply click on sync now. Now it get configured successful. Now we need an unlock and lock icon into our swipe to unlock button. So for this simply click on RES. Now click on drawable. Now right click on drawable. Click on new. And now click on vector exit. Click on Android icon and here simply type lock now select any icon which you want i prefer this now click on ok and now click on next and now click on finish do the same thing for unlock button simply click on run right right click on drawable then new then vector asset then click here now type again lock select this click on ok next then finish now the both icons are implemented successfully in drawable section now we can use it and the dependency is also set up correctly so we can move into our design or we can say we can move into our activity main xml file where we create the design first so click on split and here we write the code so simply first i delete this change the constraint layout to relative layout now add the background color so simply type android background and pass the color code i pass this color code you can give any color according to your choice now as you know in our activity what we have and a swipe unlock button and a normal button so for first we make a swipe unlock button so for this first take an bracket then type com dot x or it automatically give a suggestion so simply press enter now close this now we write the code all inside this bracket give any id to access it into java file so i type android id id and give any id i give it swipe now set the layout with match parent set the layout height wrap content set the margin start 20 dp set the margin end 20 dp set the center in parent true now type app inner text and set any text which you want to appear on button i type swipe to unlock now set the text color i set inner text color and then android color white after this set the text size so app inner text size I set it 16 dp. Now set the text top padding and the bottom text padding. So simply type text top or it automatically gives the suggestion. Now set it to 16 dp. Now simply type app inner bottom text padding. Set it also to 16 dp. Now type app inner text background. And here you have to pass say rounded. Now set the image disable. Whenever button is disabled, we appear have to lock open. So for this simply type drawable lock open. Now for the enable also, so here you have to type lock and it automatically gives the suggestion. Set the left padding 20 dp, set the right padding 20 dp, set the top padding 20 dp and set the bottom padding also 20 dp. And app button background 
and give it to shape button and now that's it our swipe to unlock button is ready and you can see this is our button and it look perfect now below this we need a one more button to move to from one activity to second activity so simply type bracket then type button set the layout with match parent set the height wrap content give the id to this button i give it to move now type android text give any text which you want i type move to second android text size now type the layout below swipe now margin top 40 dp give the margin end 20 dp and margin start also 20 dp and now close this and our all design is ready and you can see it look perfect now we have to write the code into our java file so for this simply click on app now click on java now click on your package name and right click now click on main activity and here you have to write the code so i close this now here we have to write the code so first of all declare the variables for the both buttons so simply type private our first button is swipe so it automatically give the suggestion now give any variable name i give simply swipe now second variable is our normal button and i give it to move now first assign the xml ids into these button so for this simply type move equal find view id r dot id dot xml id name our xml id name is also move now do the same thing for swipe also find view id r dot id dot swipe now first you have to understand one thing we cannot apply the on click listener to swipe button we have to apply the set on state chain listener so we cannot identify whether the button is open or close by default the button present in off state but whenever it state chain we have to know that the button is getting open or not so for this we have to use some variables by which we can easily identify whether the button is open or not so first of all simply type here swipe dot set on state chain listener now inside the bracket simply type new then capital o and press enter now here we write all the code so what we want we want we move from one activity to another activity when this button is get open or when the button is present in open state so first of all we have to also set an on click listener to our normal button so for this simply type move dot set on click listener inside bracket simply type new then capital o and press enter and that's it now one is the most important thing how we identify whether the button present in open state or not in open or we can say in off state so for this so first we have to take an variable of integer type int s equal and assign a value i assign it to 1 now as i already say we cannot easily identify whether the button present in open state or in off state but we can increment the integer value whenever the state of the button is get changed so let us suppose by default as you know button present in off state so if someone open the button then we increment this value so I simply type here s is equals to s plus 1 it means now the button present in open state now what I assign s is equals to 1 and when the button state get changed it equal to s is equals to 2 so now we use the odd even concept if the s value or the value which is stored in s variable if it is even then it means the button present in open state otherwise if it is odd then the button present in closed state or in can say off state so we use simply this concept if s percent 2 if s percent 2 equal equal 0 then it mean button is unlocked because if someone unlock the button the value of s is incremented then we run this if condition and if the if condition this run then it means someone unlock the button and we simply displayed the toast toast dot make text pass the current activity name main activity dot this pass the message which you want after unlocking the button i type button unlocked then pass the length of the toast now close this and type last show it means if someone unlock the button the value of dash become even and if it is even then the remainder is zero and we simply displayed this toast that button unlock now after this we need an one more condition for else so if the value of s is odd then it means someone again change the state of the button 
so we have to display the toast of button locked so simply i copy this toast and now i paste it here in else condition now i delete this and simply type here button locked so hope you understand guys what we are going to do we are simply set an on state chain listener whenever the state of button get chain we increment that value and also run this if it's condition if s is percent to equal equal zero then it means the button is unlocked so simply display the toast button unlocked otherwise button locked now as you know we set an on click listener to move button so when this move button run we also use the same odd even concept s percent to equal equal zero then it means button is unlocked now because when the value is getting increment when someone's change the state of the button so it means s already the value of s is one like when i unlock this button now now let us suppose i unlock this button so the value of s is equals to two so the toast is also displayed and now if we click on move button we again check as the value the value of the s variable so if s percent to equal equal zero then it means button is unlocked so we can move to the second activity so i simply type here move i does not create this function till now so it's so an error because but don't take tension now else in else part it means the button is not unlocked here till now so for this simply we display the toast so simply copy this toast from here control c now control v now change the message and here i type first unlock the button now the last thing is left to create the move function so come outside this bracket and simply type here public void now two brackets and inside this sorry i forget to give the function name so our function name is move now here we have to simply move from one activity to another so what we use for moving from one activity to another intents so simply type intent intent equal new intent and our current activity main activity dot this and second activity name second dot class now type start activity intent now it's an error because it does not create the second activity till now so simply click on your packet name right click then click on new and now click on activity and now click on empty activity give the activity name according to you i give it to second now click on finish and you can see the error is gone and now the app is also completely ready so you can check this app now for checking this application i simply convert this project into an apk file so i simply click on build now click on build apk and you and you can see gradle start building now it get built successful and i copy the application into my phone and you can see it look fine and it work perfect when i press on button it say me first unlock the screen and when i unlock this button and now i can redirect to second activity so hopefully guys you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for latest update and please share this video with your friends if you have any query then comment down below thank you